In Africa, the king and queen of a village, I hear, are the most respected and maybe feared in some cases. But the griot is the most revered because a griot is a storyteller. And in the stories lie the history of a village. In the stories lie the history of a culture. Storytelling is important. And yet I think we forget to tell stories of our lineage and our life to our children. When I was your age, my favorite thing to do was to ride my bike for hours. I love riding my bike. I had a little green bike with pink tassels coming off the side. And I had a little afro, packed afro, sort of like I have now when my hair is down. And um, I would ride and I thought that I was going on long adventures. Before me, my mom, grandma, she's a skater and she would roller skate. She would roller skate for hours. She was a really great skater. She could backward skate. And my dad, my father has played tennis for almost 50 years. Played some of the best tennis I've ever seen. Oftentimes on Christmas morning, we would have Christmas dinner on Christmas morning because daddy and mom were cooking all night and it smelled so good. I didn't want to have breakfast. I wanted to have whatever they were cooking. Greens, cornbread, yams. Yeah. It's in the stories. It's in the stories that our children will be invited and introduced into our world. We talk about the divide, the generational divide. Quite honestly, we've played a part in that as well. We congregate amongst ourselves, playing our old school music or listen to our genre of whatever, instead of sharing it with them. Have you ever heard of Earth, Wind and Fire? Amazing group. Luther Vandross, oh my God. Now Luther, Luther would make you stop doing whatever it is you were doing in the kitchen, cooking, whatever, and just stop and sing. And Barry White, well, let's just say, Barry White had a voice all of his own. Aretha Franklin, one of the greatest singers of our time. The only way you'll know any of this is that I share it with you. So it's my job to be the storyteller for you. It's your job to be the storyteller for your children and your grandchildren. You are the bridge to all the beautiful things that you know and appreciate. They want to take the ride. You just have to take the time. So, when Auntie was...